Hello and welcome to our live coverage of the day's news agenda around London for the Capitals Clubs. There's less than two weeks left of the transfer window, where did that go? Arsenal have already signed Lucas Torreira, Socrates Papastathopoulos, Stefan Liechtsteiner, Matteo Guendouzi and Bernd Leno, while West Ham have snapped up Jack Wilshire, Lukas Fabianski, Issa Diop, Felipe Anderson, Andriy Yarmolenko and Ryan Fredericks. Despite things remaining quiet on the transfer front, Tottenham have been busy off the field, handing new long-term deals to Sun Hung Min and Eric Lamella. Meanwhile in West London, former Napoli boss Maurizio Sarri has been confirmed as the new Chelsea manager, bringing an end to Antonio Conte's two-year spell in charge. Sarri is reunited with midfielder Jorginho, who has signed a five-year deal with the Blues, but there remains question marks over the futures of Eden Hazard and Thibaut Courtois, with the Belgium pair both linked with the move to Spain. We'll be bringing you all the updates from the capital here throughout the day, keeping on top of all of the latest transfer news and speculation around the Premier League. Follow all the latest updates below. Keep up to date with the latest news, features and exclusives from Football London via the free Football London app for iPhone and Android. Available to download from the App Store and Google Play, 1655 The Mirror believe that Watford are lining up Liverpool striker Divico Rigi on loan, after the Reds placed a £26 million price tag on the forward. The Belgian spent last season on loan at Wolfsburg but struggled to make a sustained impression and with Jurgen Klopp suggesting Daniel Sturge still has a role to play at Anfield, Origi could be heading for an exit. 1630 Plenty has been said about Zaha's recent social media activity in relation to a potential move away from Crystal Palace. Looks like he's enjoying himself here though, 1612 linked with the likes of Daniele Rigani, Mira Lampionic, Matias Vecinio and Gonzalo Higuain this summer, the FA Cup holders are now going to have to move very quickly to ensure that Sarri's squad is strengthened ahead of the opening game at Huddersfield Town, 1510 talks between Fulham and Swansea of the transfer of Alfie Mawson are believed to be at an advanced stage according to Sky Sports. The Cottagers are believed to have entered the race for the defender at the end of last week, with Burnley and West Ham being closely linked in the past. Sky Sports News believes the deal could be done in within the next 72 hours. Swansea want more than £20 million for 24-year-old, 1445 according to Goal. Christian Pulisic is the latest name on Chelsea's list of targets this summer. Reports have suggested that Dortmund will let the U.S. international got for £65 million and that has also piqued the interest of Liverpool. The Premier League clubs could find their main competition comes from Bayern Munich however, who have earmarked the youngster as a long-term replacement for Arjen Robin and Frank Ribery. They had planned to move next summer but could be forced into an earlier deal. 1423 We heard Jose Mourinho's frustrations earlier and it seems departures are more likely than signs of a purchase. Napoli have confirmed a loan offer for defender Matteo Darmian who has been expected to leave this summer. Napoli president Aurelio De Laurentiis confirmed the offer with Radio Kiss Kiss Napoli. Arias? I do not know, we'll see. We have asked Darmian on a loan with a right of redemption. We are on six profiles, there could also be Henriks from Bear. A number of other Italian clubs are thought to be interested in the defender. 1409 Crystal Palace are interested in signing midfielder Maxime Ganalans and although his representatives have refused offers for their client so far, Roma have given permission to the Premier League club to negotiate. The Italian club have even started looking for a replacement and that's where trouble could brew for Arsenal. The Gunners seem to have slowed their attempts of signing Steven Anzonzi due to his fee and with interest from Roma emerging, that price seems unlikely to go down. 1353 Chelsea could be set to win the race for Juventus striker Gonzalo Higuain after bettering AC Milan's offer, according to the Mirror. Reports suggest that the Italian giants need to raise funds following the signing of Cristiano Ronaldo and it has been suggested that Higuain, Mira Lempianic and Daniele Ragani could all be sold ahead of next month's transfer deadline. 
the Blues' main competition for the striker is AC Milan who are believed to have offered Higuain £80,000 a week, but Chelsea may have upped the ante. Gonzalo Higuain, Image, Miguel Medina, AFP, Getty Images, 1245 Daniel Sturridge A man who is as quality as he is injury-prone, still looks to have a Liverpool future. He found it tough going last summer but has looked promising in pre-season, which has led to some remorse of interest in the Premier League. It sounds like Jurgen Klopp is happy to keep him around Anfield however. The Reds boss said, Daniel is an outstanding player. If he is fit, he will play a role in the team. Daniel Sturge scores for Liverpool. Photo by Michael Regan, Getty Images, 11.57 Spurs have been linked with the Frenchman in the past but it had looked like he could head to Barcelona. Progress with the deal has been slow, which led to rumours that the Catalan side could turn their attention to Steven Enzonzi which wouldn't be great news for Arsenal. Perhaps, now we know why there has been little progress in a Rabio transfer. Tushel said in Singapore, his talent is obvious, his potential is obvious. I think there are still more levels to reach and I'm convinced there are still next levels to reach in this club, in his club where he comes from from the youth academy. But we know about his contract situation and in this kind of situation it's on the players to make a commitment. PSG star Adrian Rabio.11, 15 I reckon Ramsey would actually fit in quite well at Chelsea with license to move forward under the protection of Conte and co. Arsenal would be barmy to sell him to a Premier League rival at this stage however, even with 12 months left on his deal. There's been a mixed reaction so far from Blues fans, 1039 Chelsea are reportedly could look to hold talks about a move for Matias Vecino from Inter Milan when the two sides meet this evening in Nice, according to CalcioMercato.com. They say that financial fair play regulations could force Inter to sell Vecino and that Chelsea are at least interested in asking the question. Vecino used to play under Sarri at Empoli and according to the report could be available for 30 million euros. Matias Vecino celebrates image, Emilio Andrioli, Getty Images, 1038 beat the drop betting offer we're giving Patty Power customers 1 million pounds to play beat the drop, for free. All you have to do is answer 20 questions. T. How to play beat the drop playing the game is easy. Buy your ticket and pick the number of questions you want to answer. Then, pick your first question and either go all in, if you are courageous enough, or split your pot. After answering the questions, you'll be able to keep the winnings you have left, play here now sign up, log in and you'll receive your £1 million pot. Answer questions and any money left in the pot is yours. One free entry per customer to a £1 million pot to play a 20 questions version of the game. Linked with Jack Grealish, Anthony Marshall and Wilfred Zaha, time is quickly running out for Mauricio Pochettino to bring in new additions. Speaking after his side's penalty shootout defeat in Los Angeles, the manager issued an update on transfers, as well as talking about the possibility of Gareth Bale returning to the club. Read here. Gareth Bale scores his stunning goal against Liverpool Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba is believed to be open to return to former club Juventus, according to the Mirror. Having splashed the cash to sign Cristiano Ronaldo from Real Madrid, the Serie A champions would have to offload a number of players if they were to sign the French international. Gonzalo Higuain, Mira Lempianic and Daniele Regani, who have all been linked with Chelsea this summer, are the players likely to make way to raise funds for the midfielder. Paul Pogba celebrates his goal. Image, Sean Botterill, Getty Images, Chelsea have suffered a transfer blow in their pursuit of an England goalkeeper. However, it's not Jordan Pigford, who is reported to be the club's main target if Thibaut Courtois departs. Jack Butland had been mentioned as a possible goalkeeper option in the past but he could be set to remain with Stoke despite their relegation to the championship. Full story here. Jack Butland of Stoke City, image, Gareth Copley, Getty Images, it doesn't look like West Ham's transfer business is done quite yet. 
Having signed seven players so far this summer, Manuel Pellegrini could well bring in another addition or two before the transfer deadline. According to reports from Fnatic in Turkey, the club are set to launch a second bid for Croatia star Domagoj Vida. The centre-back, who has also attracted interest from Everton and Liverpool this summer, looks set to move on with Besiktas eyeing a over €30 million Euros for the defender. Domagoj Vida celebrates with teammates after beating England. He was investigated for pro-Ukraine chance following their win over Russia. Image, Jules Samad, AFP, Getty Images, Manchester United manager Jose Mourinho is clearly frustrated by his club's transfer business so far this summer. Despite bringing in three new faces, the ex-Chelsea manager still wants to sign a couple more players before the transfer deadline. Linked with Chelsea's William and Spurs defender Toby Alderweireld, the experienced manager feels that the club may only be able to bring in one new player before the big kickoff. Here's what Mourinho had to say after his side's 4-1 defeat against Liverpool on their US preseason tour, I would like to have two more players, I think I am not going to have two. I think it's possible I'm going to have one, it's possible and I gave a list to my club of five names a few months ago and I wait to see if it's possible to have one of these players. If it's possible it's possible, if it's not, it's not. If it's possible, good, if it's not possible we keep fighting and working and believing in the players that we have. Jose Mourinho, image, John Peters, Man UTD via Getty Images, surely it couldn't happen, could it? Chelsea are believed to be ready to move for Arsenal midfielder Aaron Ramsey. The Welshman, who will be out of contract come the end of the season, has yet to agree on a new contract at the Emirates. Given the possibility of the Gunners losing the player on a free transfer, the Daily Mail claimed the Blues are monitoring the situation and are preparing to make their move. Aaron Ramsey in action, image, Fan Nuwats Riorissant, Getty Images for ICC, Barcelona manager Ernesto Valverde has disappointed a number of Arsenal fans after issuing an update on Usman Dembele's future. Having failed to hit the heights following his big money move from Borussia Dortmund last summer, it appears that the French international will be remaining at the No Camp despite links with Arsenal. Read here to see what Valverde has had to say. Usman Dembele, image, Dan Mullen, Getty Images, welcome to another day of transfer news from London and beyond. With a week and a half to go the transfer train isn't stopping and first up we have a corker, Christian Pulisic will be available for £65 million this summer report the Daily Mail. With the American wanted by so many teams this transfer window Dortmund have apparently accepted that they might have to sell him, but only if their valuation is met. Spurs, Man United, Liverpool, and Chelsea have all been linked with the move for him this summer. Christian Pulisic has been linked with the move to the Premier League image, Lin Taojong, Getty Images.